Hey there, and welcome to my channel. And today, as the title says, I have a two week update on how I've been liking the Dyson Airstreet. So if you haven't seen my first video on it, I'll link it up here, but that was my initial, initial review. I had just seen it on YouTube, had never heard of it before, bought it, it came two or three days later. I used it, recorded it, put it up there. So uh, that was a good, very good first impression. But now I've got to use it after washing my hair a couple times and the day-to-day -day in between. So if you wanted to hear uh, kind of my update, how it's been going, I know it's expensive, so getting as much information as you can is key. That is what I like to do, especially when making a big purchase like this. So I will show you how I get my curly hair my naturally curly kind of frizzy hair and damaged hair uh smooth and straight just with this uh no no uh what is it blow dryer no flat iron no round brush blow dryer just the dyson air straight uh so if you're interested to see the process um, just stay tuned. And real quick, ladies, uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, my channel is actually mostly um, about fashion and styling. And so I do a lot of classic and timeless and modest outfits, even if that's not your vibe, uh, come by, stop by, check me out because uh, I think every lady needs a few, a few modest and classic outfits, you know, whether you have an interview, you're going to a new job, you're meeting in-laws or uh, just want to look a little classy. Maybe you're going to some golf or wine event or something like that. Um, I think it's always good to have a few basics, a few classics, a few uh, you know, timeless outfits in your, in your closet. I love the trendy stuff too, but, um, you know, the basics uh, do make life easy. <laughs> so let's get into the review update. Okay. Now this is how my hair starts out curly. And usually I will, um, after I get out of the shower, put product in it and then do my makeup and get dressed and then it, let it air dry a bit. And uh, for this day, it air dried a little too much. My hair does dry pretty fast, so I'm just re-wetting it because I watched a hair professional who taught me that you should only blow dry wet hair. Um, so if it's dry, then you start creating damage when you are drying it. So I just learned that information uh, recently and am implementing that. And then I will section off my hair and you do need to pick the correct setting. So it does have the wet setting and the dry. So I go over each section, a kind of a smaller section, anywhere from two to four times. And it's taking me anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes from to completely finish this process. And I am still newer at it. Um, this particular day, it took 26 minutes. I did time it. And so generally I'll go over the entire section with the wet um, option and then go over it with the dry. And that does smooth everything out. So it is necessary. How bad it is for your hair, I'm not sure. Um, because as uh, Chris, the hair professor says that you should not blow dry, dry hair. So this is a lower temperature. I'm thinking it's still better than flat ironing. And I do have to have some kind of straightening tool because um, as you can see, if I just do the blow dryer, it's still pretty frizzy. So I have to have something to smooth it out. So here you can see the dry straightened and then the before. So there definitely is a difference going over it with the dry feature. And again, I'm just hoping it's better than a flat iron <laughs> long term, but you know, I'm, I'm not a hair professional, so I'm not sure And then I just continue all the way up in sections. 
And this is easier for me than a blow dryer and round brush. Um, you can use the straight straightener, air straight, in any direction. I kind of still do it like it's a flat iron because I've flat ironed for so many years. But um, I do notice sometimes I, you know, will ha be holding it weird, a different angle. It still straightens downward in the correct way. So it does have the airflow directed, which is really, really great because even on a blow dryer, I don't know, the directed air is still pretty, a pretty large space and it would give me more frizz at the roots. And this one too, I can get right up to my head, which you know, you can't do with a flat iron because it will burn your scalp. Uh, so that's been nice. I don't have to worry about burning my head. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so it's, it's just really, it's just easy. It's the easiest hot tool I've used. And I hope that Dyson's technology is helping my hair. And so I just go through the entire process. Like I said, with the wet, um, dry, wet, you know, feature, two to four times, depending, I guess, on how much hair is in that section. And then I do use the directed airflow to get up my roots. So I am trying to use minimal heat. So once the length of my hair is dry, then I won't keep going over and over and over. I do try to stop as soon as it's uh, dry, as soon as I believe it's dry. And then I usually will just hit the root area to continue drying it because you know you can't get the straightener all the way up there and the directed you know, airflow isn't coming out that direction. So de definitely the length um, dries faster <laughs> than the root, but I'll usually just do a section. So I'll do, you know, whatever section that is with the wet feature, get my roots, and then go back over with the dry feature. And that has, I, I think that's just the most efficient way And you can see, I mean, it, it is necessary for me. Otherwise it would just be frizzy. So it definitely smooths it out. I'm not really sure how it's doing it, <laughs> but uh, whatever's going on in between and with the directed flow uh, is awesome. So it, it has replaced all my other hot tools and I am hoping that it is healthier uh, for my hair and so I am putting it to the test and not using anything else um, and hoping that in you know after weeks and months of getting off of the higher heat of the blow dryer and flat iron that this that my hair is just happier eventually and will stop breaking off <laughs> And so that whole process, like I said, took me 26 minutes from all the way wet to all the way dry and ready to go. And here I wanted to include a touch up. The touch up, I, I do need, um, my hair gets frizzy and kind of like uh, kinked out again, real easy. So even though I clip it up and I'm only blow drying it, it, it just, I think because it's so damaged, it just, you know, it and it's not real heavy, uh, it just loses the straightness pretty quickly. So I usually will just go over it with just the dry feature when I need to. I still try to do protective hairstyles in between, you know, wear a ponytail or bun, but if I need to straighten it out, then I will. And this will take me anywhere from five to 10 minutes. So. On this particular day, it took me seven minutes to go back over all of it. And I usually will just do it once. Or I, or I try to go over each section only once. So trying to use, you know, minimal heat that I can. Oh, and I forgot to mention at the very beginning when it's wet, I do put, I, I don't know if I, I said it, but I do put all the product in then and I use uh, all the products recommended 
again by Chris the hair professor I'll link his channel below and I'm kind of following his advice I found him just a couple weeks ago and uh, he just has totally enlightened me to hair health things that I just never knew and so I'm kind of sticking with that program and then I think I put a little too much product in my hair and when I do that then I immediately have to uh, dry shampoo and so that's what happened here I'm still getting used to using the products and straightening my hair and the the air straight so all right ladies that was my two-week update on the Dyson air straight air straight <laughs> and um, I know that it's a big purchase for a lot of people and so hopefully you found this helpful that was my intention um, I know I like just a ton a ton of information and like personal reviews on items especially something like this that you're gonna be buying and that you are buying to improve the health of your hair like it's so important and that is why I decided to make the investment in it is because I have bleached damaged hair and I was pr pretty much willing to pay anything for the promise of repairing it and so hopefully I'm on my way but I did want to do this uh, two-week update because I am getting close to my uh, grow out appointment <laughs> update so I'll be getting my hair uh, roots redone and I just wanted to have this this uh, kind of marker, just in case my hair, anything happens, texture or whatever changes, at least we'll have a midpoint. So, I mean, with me, it is heat tools and it is bleach. I'm kind of fighting two uh, issues <laughs> constantly, but you know, I like a lighter hair color on me, so I am willing to do it, but I'm trying to, you know, build my way back now. And subscribe if you want to be notified when I come out with the next update on this Dyson Air Straight. And like this video if you like this kind of content. I am mostly a, you know, fashion channel, but I do think, you know, personal care does go into it. And so I'm kind of beginning on that journey and I would love to give updates on things that I try and how, how they're going. So if that interests you, uh, feel free to follow along. And so I look forward to seeing you in the next one and I hope that you have a wonderful day.